Well, Louis, a very warm welcome to the club. Congratulations on the deal. You've been here on trial. Just talk us through that, first of all. Yeah, so the manager asked me to come in um, back end of last week. So I came down and trained for a few days. I was fortunate to be part of the Peterborough game um, and then happy to get a decision quite early on and get started with the season, hopefully. So, yeah, it's been a pretty quick process, um, but pleased to get it done. Yeah, you mentioned the manager there. What kind of conversations have you had with him? Because it seems to have been quite a quick process to get this all done. Yeah, so I've played against him and his teams for a little while. Um, but I think he just wanted to have a little look at me and see if I fitted what he wanted to implement here. Um, and hopefully I've done that. And like I said, it's been successful and look forward to get started now and hopefully repay that. Yeah. And uh, of course, we've got to mention your brother Nathan was here a couple of seasons ago, so it must be a club that you, you already know quite well through him. Absolutely, yeah. So I came to watch quite a bit in his playoff season. Um, got a feel for the club then, how well supported it is. It's always a tough place to come when you're on the opposing team. So uh, it's an extremely passionate fan base and one that any player at Portsmouth is fortunate to be a part of. And you played with each other at Swindon, then you moved on to, to Norwich, obviously another massive club. Do you see similarities between Norwich and Pompey in terms of the kind of stature and the fan base, etc.? Yeah, absolutely. I think in both, in both clubs, the, the football club is the hub of the, the city. Um, and it's definitely true here and as well at Norwich. So when things are going well, it's a fantastic place to be. And with that comes a pressure of performing to the level that the fans expect. So... Hopefully we can do that this year and we can all be successful together. The fans have had a little glimpse at you in that Peterborough game, as you said. For those of them who missed out, just talk us through what kind of player you are. Uh, I'm a high energy player, I'd say. Um, can sit in front of the back four, but also um, can go forward. Um, typical box-to-box -box midfielder, I would, I'd say combative. And hopefully I can bring those, those qualities onto the pitch um, frequently this year. Um, that's the plan and hopefully the manager can get the best out of me um, and likewise I'm looking forward to my time playing under him. And you've had injury troubles in the past but presumably at the moment you feel fully fit and, and firing on all cylinders? Yeah definitely, um, I've had a bit of a turbulent few years, a um, bit unfortunate in that respect but the manager's expressed a, a plan that he had like to put in place for me and it was important that that was in place I think for me um, and I'm looking forward to getting, getting started with that and and hopefully I can be out on the pitch way more than I have been in the past few years. Yeah, and in terms of getting out on the pitch, for that Peterborough game, you're obviously on trial and with it being in front of the fans, you must have been on the bench just, just itching to get on. Yeah, definitely. I think the boys put on a good performance there as well. as extremely high press and you could see it put Peterborough on the back foot. Um, yeah, and it was enjoyable to be a part of that and to hear the fans. I think the fans have had a, a tough year and not been able to support in the stands and players also, it's been a quiet, stadium so I think that's a definite strong point of Portsmouth of having the fans in here and it'll be a tough place to come for any team this season. Yeah and you'll obviously be able to experience that a lot more now what are your hopes and, and aspirations for the coming season both personally and in terms of the ambitions that the, the team have? Personally I want to play as much as I can um, and with that put some good performances in um, and collectively I think as always of course if you want to win as many games as possible and, and be at the top end of the table fighting that out for promotion. It's a small squad at the moment, that may change as, as the weeks go on, but it does still feel that there's quite a lot of competition in there. Is that something that you, you feel as well? Yeah, definitely. I think the squad that's been assembled is full of quality. Um, you see that with the additions that have been made already and the performances they put out in pre-season as well. So, like I said, I don't think you can ever have enough depth. Um, competition is always good. It gets the best out of people, so long may that continue.